Balance. Always maintain balance. Hi, s'mores and dinosaurs fans. Uh, this is a little bit of an impromptu video for me today, from me to you. <laughs> uh, I had some time to kill uh, between work today and an event I have tonight, so I looked on the map and found this this creek down in Kentucky where I am. And I figured, hell, why not go outside, get the legs moving, and maybe, why maybe, I'll find some fossils. So, you know, I thought, hell, I'll bring you along with me. Now this creek should still be in the Cincinnati Dome, which means we should still be able to find Ordovician fossils even down here in Kentucky. So let's see if I can find anything. Come on. <laughs> so let's go on a fossil hunt. Um, I started searching in this drier section of the creek, uh, looking in between the rocks. Well, that's not bad. Well, I agree. What we have here is a Platystrophia brachiopod. Not bad at all. Let's go back and look for more, shall we, Sean? Ah, now here's an example of Bryozoa. Now, unfortunately that day, I didn't take very good field notes, so it's kind of hard for me to tell you exactly what it was. But I'll tell you what, sure is a good view. Oh, do you see something, Sean? You watching at home, what do you see? I'm seeing a lot of little fossils. There's another Platystrophia. And here we have another example of Bryozoa. We're very fortunate to have so many different types of Bryozoa in our region. So I keep striking out on land, so I'm going to the reek. And one thing you have to remember when you're doing stuff, especially fossil hunting in a creek that has a lot of water, is your balance. Always maintain balance. I've always had good success looking in water for fossils. I always find that running water helps dislodge even the smallest fossils from stone. Oh my, what's that right there? Look at this beautiful, elegant, simple, clean piece of bryozoa. Almost looks just like a stick, even though it's not. And here's another piece of bryozoa. I think the genus is Delicaia, or Dekaia. Uh, I'm just not exactly sure. There's so many types of bryozoa. Oh, like this one right here, another Bythopora. Stone number three for the year. Now this one is just starting out. I'm not going to keep this one. I'm going to put it back to try to help uh, the erosion uh, continue. Uh, let me show you how small the small, small the hole is at this point. So there's the hole. As you can see, it's right there. It's really tiny. Really small. So I'm gonna put this one back now. Right. Right there. 
Now, I took this piece home thinking it was another fossil, and I'm not entirely sure that it is. However, upon investigation, I discover that we have another adder stone. Boy, this is a pinpoint of a little hole that runs through it, but it's right there. Good thing I got that paper so you can actually see it. <laughs> and what fossil hunting video wouldn't be complete without another classic brachiopod? Not platystrophia, but just as common in the Cincinnati Arch region as this species. Do you have any at home? I'd like to know. <laughs> uh, brachiopod, brachiopod. And I think it will bring this one to a close. Uh, I knew it was gonna be a short one, but then again, this was not a planned trip to uh, do a fossil hunt today. So uh, if you had some fun today, hit the like button, subscribe. Maybe we do other videos like this and a whole lot of other different types of videos on this channel too. So until next time, I'll see you all again really, really soon. Bye everybody.